Hello everybody, this is Taika, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you a overview. Well, I'm going to show you how to use the um, multi-craft control panel that is used to run Minecraft servers. Now this is my control panel, so I'm going to be showing you exactly what I use, and there will be a link in the description of a place where you can get them and the exact place that I use, so I recommend you using the link in the description if you plan on purchasing this type of Minecraft server. So getting right into it, this is your home page. It says just welcome to the multi-craft control panel. You can't really do much here. You can get the little welcome page. You can get some help information and some about information. Now, the thing you're really going to want to do is go over to servers and here you'll have your listed servers. <clears throat> now, actually, right here it'll show you how much players are on and you can do a quick link to the chat or you can go back. But here is your main dashboard. You have your start, stop, and restart buttons as well as a place where you can give your server a name, your amount of players that you can have online at a time, your um, status, so it says if it's online or offline, as well as how much players are online. You have your status banner, it shows your IP, your port, your world name, so you can change that through here, what type of server you're going to be running. You can set custom jars, so if you go into your FTP, go into the jar folder, you can have custom ones in there and then you can install tech through here. If you want to show some advanced options you can do that as well. You can set auto save, announce, world save, the amount of memory you have, and other things. Then we have the resource usage. Now as you can see I'm using 100% of my CPU as well as as well as 53% of my memory usage. Permissions, I recommend you ignore this if you're going to be using a permissions plugin. And here you have the connected players. So this is the players that are currently on my server. I can kick them through here and get links to their player profiles through here. The next thing is the chat. Now I can chat to my players through here. As you can see it just says the players connected and disconnected as well as the players right here. You can talk to them through here. So if I type in test, it says test right there. And I have the connected players right here. If I click on them it's a link to their profile and I can obviously kick them. And then we have the console, now you can type in commands through this as well as seeing errors. Go back, then we have the players, this gives you a list of all the players on your server. If I click on one of my players profiles, I can see their name, give them roles, but I recommend you don't touch that because you're probably going to be using a different permission system. You can set if they're banned or not, save that information, it says if they're online or offline, gives you their IPs and you can give them teleport and summon them through that. You can also delete the player information through there. And then we have files. You can go to your con config files and edit files through here. I recommend doing it through your FTP. And that's if it's the server settings. You're going to have to do that through here. So you can change whatever you want on here. And click save. Then we can go back a couple. Go to the git bucket plugins. I recommend installing plugins through FTP. But if you just want to do them directly through here, you can just find your plugin you want click install, it will install the plugins and you have to go back and configure the plugin. And then we have the FTP file access. Now this is your FTP information and your password is just your multi-craft password. You can log in and use this FTP client or you can use the FTP information in FileZilla. And then we have backup here you can use to create backups, download them, and then if you ever want to you can restore from previous backups. And then if I go back to my server I can go under advanced, I can see commands, I can create commands. So this is just the default commands you could type through the console. Then I can go back and go to the scheduled tasks. Right now there's only one which is a world autosave every 10 minutes and you can create new tasks. And then we have the users. Now this is just the people that can log into the control panel and edit things and do things like that. I mean, don't think you can create them but this is just your th account right here and it gives you some information you're probably not going to be using this that much so that is about it you can go to your profile and edit your email and password go to support to get some information but that requires logging into your exodus account now if you're going to use a different hosting company um, it's not going to be exodus but i'll have a link to this in the description which is once again the one i use i recommend you use the link in the description also if this video has helped you in any way at all, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.